everyone. Welcome to Waitani Hospital's podcast. In today's episode, we will discuss about the blood clot that can take your life suddenly when it's clogged in the lungs, which is also known as pulmonary embolism. Today, we are very lucky to have our pulmonologist doctor, Dr. Tanakon Tassaniyasin, together with us to explain you about the causes, the risk factors, and the prevention of pulmonary embolism. Hello, doctor. Thank you for taking your time from your busy schedule to talk with us today. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to talk about the pulmonary embolism. Okay, sir. So, first of all, can you explain what is a pulmonary embolism, doctor? Okay, uh, pulmonary embolism is a blood clot that occurs in the pulmonary vessel. Mm -hmm. It can damage the lung due to restic blood flow, decrease in oxygen level in the blood. The result can be life-threatening condition and can be fatal. Mm -hmm. So may I know uh, what are the causes of pulmonary embolism? Uh, a pulmonary embolism caused by the blood clot mm -hmm. that have several different causes, mm -hmm. uh, including injury or damage of the blood vessel, mm -hmm. such as bone fracture or muscle tear. I see. The next one is inactivity that leading blood stagnate in the lower part of your body. Mm -hmm. The last one is medical conditions such as surgery or active mm -hmm. cancer that lead blood to be clogged easily. Oh, I see. So, how are the blood clots and the pulmonary embolism related, Doctor? The relation between blood clot and pulmonary embolism is that when the blood clot or the embolus forming in one part of the body, mm -hmm. which most common location is deep vein in the leg, mm -hmm. and then when it breaks away, the and they travel to the body. Mm -hmm. This migration can lead a blood clot lodged in the pulmonary vessel, which cause pulmonary embolism. Oh, I see. So since now is the time of COVID pandemic, so may I know, is there any relationship between COVID-19 and pulmonary embolism, doctor? Okay, uh, there are many studies show us that the prevalence of pulmonary embolism mm -hmm. is higher, about 30% in COVID-19 patient uh -huh. than the no normal population, nice. especially in severe case of COVID-19 infection. Uh, the mechanism of pulmonary embolism in this COVID-19 case mm -hmm. are not fully understood. Uh -huh. The possible mechanism are including severe injury of pulmonary vessel, mm -hmm. hyperinflammation that leading to form a thrombosis. Oh, I see. So, uh, just for your curiosity, uh, may I know who are the people that are at risk of pulmonary embolism? Okay, the people at risk of pulmonary embolism are those who have been in activity uh -huh. or immobilized for a long period of time, nice. or who are having a surgery, or having a broken bone, mm -hmm. or who have an active cancer, mm -hmm. or who have a blood clot disorder, mm -hmm. or obesity, smoking cigarette, and taking an oral contraceptive drug. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, how can one people know that he has a pulmonary embolism, or okay. what are the diagnosis of pulmonary embolism? Okay. The diagnosis of pulmonary embolism based on the critical presentation, mm -hmm. such as shortness of breath, chest pain, mm -hmm. together with finding from physical examination, such mm -hmm. as hypoxemia, tachycardia, okay. hypotension, combined with the CT pulmonary angiography which is the gold standard test for diagnosis this condition. I see. So, uh, does pulmonary embolism can be cured, doctor? Of course, yes, it can be cured. Mm -hmm. The anticoagulant therapy is mainstay for treatment in pulmonary embolism. Mm -hmm. The duration of treatment is about three to six months for complete the treatment. Okay. In severe or life threatening condition, such as shock or low blood pressure, mm -hmm. thrombolytic duct and surgery may be considered for the first line treatment. Oh, I see. So is there any way to prevent pulmonary embolism, doctor? Okay, you can prevent the pulmonary embolism by first you can, if you smoke, mm -hmm. stop smoking first okay. and getting regular exercise. I see. Second, uh, drinking a lot of water to prevent the dehydration. Mm -hmm. Okay. Third, not sitting for a long time without moving your leg, oh. such as when you watch a television or using computer. Mm -hmm. And the last one is maintain a health weight. Mm -hmm. 
So it's very nice to hear that pulmonary embolism also can be cured completely. So, um, okay, thank you very much for your uh, recommendations and explanations for pulmonary embolism, doctor. All right, that's it for today. I hope most of you will get valuable information from our podcast. So if you want to hear more useful healthcare knowledge and tips from our experts, don't forget to follow us on Spotify and subscribe on our YouTube channel. See you in the next episode. Sawadee Krab.